is a tutorial uh, all about power clip. Power clip is a an effect in Corel Draw, and uh, let me demonstrate what power clip means. Okay, so if I have a photograph here and I want it to be inside a container, a shape, or a text, here's what you do. Let's start with the shape. So you click on ellipse tool. Let's say I want to make a circle here and then put that photograph inside the circle. So I click on ellipse or F7 and then I, I make, a, if you want to make a perfect circle, you hold on control and then click and drag. That will make a perfect circle. And then click on the photograph and you go to effects power clip place inside the container and the container is the circle so you go to the edge of the circle and click and there you go so that's the concept of power clip now since it has an outline you can change the property of the outline by going to your outline pen property and let's say I want to change it to four points and then change it to a different uh, outline color and I click OK so now you have you have the the power clipped object now now the uh, there is one more option that you have to change in power clip because what happens is if I'm going to let's say I'm going to create a square here and I'm going to make a power clip of this particular area only so I'm going to click on the photograph I go to FX, power clip, place inside a container, and my container is the square, right? And watch closely. If I click on it, okay, the girl there was off centered, okay? So what happens here is that in your options, you go to tool options, because the default option for power clip, you go to workspace and then click on edit. The default is auto center new power clip contents is checked. Okay, so I want you to uncheck that. And click OK, so that when you're doing power clip, it won't auto center to the picture. So I undo. Okay, undo, undo. And now I'm going to create a square. Okay, and then I'm just going to zoom in here. So I click on my photograph and I go to my effects, power clip, place inside a container and watch closely. It's not going to be auto center anymore. So you click on this square. There you go. So it doesn't auto center anymore. So that's the first thing that you have to change in the power clip options. Now, let's say I'm not happy with the position of the of the girl here in the picture. Let's say I want it to be not centered to the square. I want her to be on the side over here, the right side. So you still can edit the power clipped object by clicking on the power clip um, object. And you know it's power clip because in here in the status bar you can see power clip rectangle on layer one. Okay, so it's a power clip object. Now you go to effects and go to power clip and then edit contents so once you edit contents you can see that you can move the 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 picture you can not only move you can also enlarge whatever you want to do and just make sure that the square here the blue square is the power clip object so what I'm going to I'm going to move her to the right side and expose a little bit of sun now if you're done with the uh, editing of your power clip go to finish edit object and it's in here in the uh, lower left corner click and there you go now there's another shortcut key to go to the edit mode in power clip uh, hold on control hold down control and then click on the power clip object double click and you will see that you are in the editing mode of power clip that's it for the power clip basic
Okay, let's let's explore more of the power clip effect. Uh, like right now, I have three effects for power clip. The first one is, which you already know, is create a shape, basic shape, put it on top of the the photograph, and click on the photograph, and go to effects, power clip, place inside the container, and click on the container, which is that one. Then you can adjust the outline. Uh, say what's that outline? And then you can even change the since it's a shape, so you can go to your shape tool and you can make it arrange its corners like that. Okay. Now same as the the uh, the circle, you can also do that. Uh, okay. Now let's go to the second part. This text here. Now, if I want to power clip an image, okay, make sure you're on top of the image, the text is on top of the image. So you go to arrange, order to front of page. I'm going to adjust it. And then so I click on the image, go to effects, power clip. Place in the side of the container, and the container is the text. So click on the text. So that's the second way. So we already have two kinds: first one, the second one, and the third one is the shape. Okay. So what happens here is the shape. This is the final product here without the background. See if I put it here. Okay. It's it's a mask mask image already. But we use. Uh, we didn't use other software, but we just use Corel Draw by creating a shape. So I'm going to demonstrate that first. So if I have a source image here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a shape or a silhouette of the bird, and then I'll power clip it inside the, that shape. So first I'm going to make the shape. So I click on my Vizier tool and you go click, click. So it's just like connecting the dots. So you just go to the outline of the image that you want to power clip. It's like making a shape. Okay, I already have the shape. I'm just going to move the shape here to the left side. I've got the shape. So hit Control Z or undo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the photograph and then go to effects, power clip, place inside the container. And the container is the shape that I just did. So I click and it says here select uh, the selected objects involved. So you may have to make sure that you're choosing the outline of the of the uh, shape. Click and there you go. Now, if you notice, there's an outline. So what you can do, you can click on the power clip and then remove the outline. Yeah. So that's another way to do the power clip using the shape. So we have three, one, three kinds. One, two, and three. Now, of course, you can always extract your power clip objects. By choosing the power clip, let's say this one, and you go to effects, power clip, extract contents, and you're going to have two separate objects.